All right, guys, Dad's Garage. We're back at this 2012 Mercedes C250. And we changed out the high pressure fuel pump once. And the one we got was bad. And we put on the new one. And then it said the switch wasn't going to potential. So we swapped it. And now we noticed that our fuel pressure for the low pressure pumps demand is less because the high pressure pump, oh, high pressure pump is ha, has enough pressure so the low pressure pump isn't being commanded to be 70 plus psi for fuel for this side lacking so bam bam and now no check engine light we are going to test drive it Our fuel pressure rebuilds. I mean, it'll still do that when the check engine light is on and you have low fuel pressure, it'll still do that. It just is not as responsive. So, change out the high pressure fuel pump. If you see, especially if you got a little cheapy scanner, you can check that out. Boom. With the AutoZone people, they might. Our fuel rail pressure is at 920. Our gauge right here is at 60. JT, can yes, you sir. hold this? Don't pull on it. I got you. This. <laughs> Use your teeth. Put it under your arm. Put this one under your arm. Uh -uh. Right. Oh, this okay. one up here. That one down there. And here, with the other hand. We're gonna watch the fuel pressures. I got you, I see where you're going with this. All right, cool. So now we're gonna go on our test drive and we're gonna watch our pressures and see if they drop off and stay low. Hold on. Say that one more time, what are we doing? Oh, now we're on our test drive and we are checking to see if our fuel pressure values are going to drop below specifications. We've got good pull. Our turbo's kicking now. What is our fuel rail pressure at on the digital one, JT? Fuel pressure. The FRP? 20, 19, 70, uh, 70, 75, uh, oh, yeah. It's between seven and 12. Perfect, perfect. So we seem to have tackled the dreaded Mercedes C250 low pressure. And we are sending you guys the results and the fix. So this one, the fix was a stupid sensor with the wire to it. And uh, most of the time when you buy the remanufactured high pressure pump, it will come with a new sensor. I guess the sensor we got was defective. So we took the old sensor, put it on the new pump, and we seem to be doing all right. So getting a high pressure pump, it's probably a good idea, but if you have a way to check digital um, pressure, then you'll know more or less where you're at. Dad's Garage, have a good day. Oh yeah. And one of these would be really nice too, to be able to compare them. Have a good day.